The milk ejection reflex. It is also called as the let down reflex. In simple words, this reflex is the reflex which is caused by the infant while sucking at the breast. The tiny nerves in the nipple get triggered. This triggering goes into the spinal cord then to the hypothalamic nuclei to cause the raise in the oxytocin that further causes the push out or the let down of the milk in the breasts. Let's learn the in-depth physiology of this reflex. The main hormone causing this reflex is the oxytocin. The oxytocin causes the ejection of the milk from the mammary glands. The ducts of the mammary glands are lined by the myoepithelial cells. So here will be the myoepithelial cells. The oxytocin causes the contraction of these myoepithelial cells and the flow of the milk from the alveoli of the mammary gland comes out through the duct system and the nipple. So the milk ejection reflex or the milk letdown reflex is the process by which the milk is ejected from the alveoli of the mammary gland. This reflex is a neuroendocrine reflex. Plenty of the touch receptors are present on the mammary glands. They are mainly concentrated at the nipple area. When the infant suckles the mother's nipple, the touch receptors which are present in the nipple get stimulated. So the receptors are present here. So the suckling of the baby causes stimulation of the receptors in the nipple. The impulses discharged from the touch receptors are carried by the somatic efferent nerve fibers to the paraventricular and the supraoptic nuclei of the hypothalamus. So from here, the discharge impulses are carried by the somatic efferent nerve to the paraventricular nucleus and the supraoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus. Now, the hypothalamus in turn sends signals to the posterior pituitary through the hypothalamo-hypophyseal tract. So these are the signals that goes into the posterior pituitary by the hypothalamo-hypophyseal tract. So this is the posterior pituitary. These efferent impulses causes the release of the oxytocin into the blood. When the oxytocin hormone reaches the mammary gland through the blood, it causes the contraction of these myoepithelial cells. And this contraction of the myoepithelial cells causes ejection of the milk from the mammary glands. So this reflex is called as the milk ejection reflex. And as this reflex is initiated by the nervous factors that is the touch receptors, and it is completed by the hormonal action that is from the oxytocin. This reflex is called as the neuroendocrinal reflex. During this reflex, large amount of the hormone oxytocin is released into the blood by the positive feedback mechanism. So this mechanism of releasing of oxytocin is the positive feedback mechanism. So guys, this is all about the milk ejection reflex or the milk letdown reflex. It is nothing but a process by which the milk is ejected from the alveoli of the mammary gland. It is a neuroendocrine reflex due to the suckling of the infant stimulates the nipple receptors and the somatic efferent nerve fibers passes through the spinal cord and they stimulate the paraventricular nucleus and the supraoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus. Now, the hypothalamus sends impulses to the posterior pituitary by the hypothalamo-hypophyseal tract and these efferent impulses release large amount of the oxytocin into the blood. And when the oxytocin reaches the mammary gland, the contraction of the myoepithelial cells leads to the ejection of the milk. So this is all about the milk ejection reflex. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and do check on my recent videos and playlists.